Hi guys, Mr. Space reporting for duty. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. And today, whew, we're taking on Manchester United instead of Red Star. And I don't know what happened, honestly. Like yesterday, obviously you could have seen, or Monday you could have seen the fact that I actually said I was going to play Red Star. And Red Star was before Manchester United. It got changed. No idea why. Who knows? It's uh, Serbian League. Maybe they moved it around to move it further away from Manchester United. Who knows? Too many red teams in a go. But yeah, like I said, we're going to be taking on Manchester United. Since last game, things have happened in the league. I will keep that a secret for the Red Star game just to make it more interesting. However, I will show you one game because in preparation for this, we rotated the whole squad. It was insane. But before we get into any of that, we will take a look at this. We have a new youth intake. And one of the things I really like, first of all, it's the golden generation. It's the so-called golden generation. And it's probably the best generation I've had because for the last couple of years, I've had one of decent players, you know, coming from it. But this looks like a whole bunch of new players. I mean, granted, all of them are in the attack. And that is a bit of a problem. We are lacking good, solid defenders for the future, which is a little bit of a problem. But we have a lot of attacking options. First of all, I would like to introduce you to Momisilo Topic. Um, this guy is incredible. He, we already have a goalkeeper that, uh, if Paspalj leaves, we have another hot prospect. So maybe Paspalj will start developing and then this guy will be the backup keeper. And then if Paspalj will eventually get sold, we have him. That's good. I think he's a very, very good player. But in my opinion, he's not the most important or the biggest guy of this intake. I think Stefan Popovic is. And the only fact I would like to tell you is he's 175 tall with four jumping reach and 14 heading. So if the ball hits him right in the head, he can score. But he can't jump, and he's not tall enough to do that. So, interesting. However, he looks like a very well-rounded striker, minus the fact that he can't score. I mean, I guess is, since he's a, since he can header, I would play him as a striker, more likely. We'll see. But we have another, another, another advanced playmaker as well. Look at this guy. Another player. Like, what's going on, guys? Good first touch. Good technique. Passing can be improving, but that's in the future. Positioning, who cares? Is an advanced playmaker. Good determination. That's the most important part. That's really, really important. And he's another player from Montenegro. Interesting. But yeah, some some good players. I mean, obviously, I'll show you them in the future. This guy, Milton Plika, definitely, definitely excited for him because good dribbling, good pace, good technique, good passing, even some tackling. So do we have a making of a fullback, of an attacking fullback? Do we have the makings of an... Guys, we may have an attacking fullback. Oh... <gasps> I think so. He could be it. If he can train straight away, I think we can have a very good complete wing back. <gasps> that is awesome. We definitely need that. Right. Enough of this. We have spent way too long on this. Let me show you the game that I was talking about. Okay. So not only was the score stupid because we scored the 93rd minute through Vito and we conceded no 95th. Uh, there were four minutes added. Thank you, refs. You are disgusting, horrible people. Also, Look at this squad. We had a very rotated squad. Paspaljingol, Rogac, Mitrovic, Banyak, Markovic. Okay, Markovic is normal. Stepanovic, Stupar, Zukic, Jovanovic, Vlahovic, Bahabek. We are prepared. Every single key player is fully rested. And only Vito came off from like the top, top players at the end of the game. So yeah, we're very, very well rested. Considering that last time we lost 1-0 and the fact that, you know, they didn't dominate us, they didn't destroy us. What we're going to do, we're going to change things slightly. First of all, we're going to stop playing uh, slow ball. We're not going to do that. We are going to actually play it faster, so more direct, quicker. Also, we're going to continue with our fullbacks on defend because we did pretty much shut them out completely, which was good. We're going to go with Popovic in goal, Eurosvich, Balas, Banyak, Markovic. Again, very, very normal side. Balas has completely taken over Stepanovic's role. Sorry. Topic is going to be the ball winning midfielder. I want to try that against the anchor a little bit, just give him a little bit more role to move around. Illich will be as a vola second volante, of course, you know, Pavlovich is going to be advanced playmaker. On the left, we're going to have Stevanovic, Vito is going to be on the right, and we're going to have a new role for Stanic. We're going to have a deep line forward. Hopefully with this role, we can utilize his good passing, we can utilize his good, you know, physicality, and also we can use the fact that he's a little bit slow, so you can hold the ball, play it off, run off, and then do some good things there. So, I hope you're excited for this. Smash the like button, you know, subscribe to my channel, because... One subscription equals one more prayer for the fact that we beat United, which will be incredible. And uh, we only lost 1-0. So if we do good today, and granted we're playing at Old Trafford, which is a problem, we can do well. Right, guys? <sighs> Whew. Pray for us. Idemo! Let's go! Woo! This is the team they're going for. It's kind of the same team. They have Iconi now on the left, Greenwood on the right, Fernandes, Pogba, De Jong. Okay, so very strong midfield. Ours is not as strong. Uh, don't look at our recent form. Don't look at our recent form. It's... Uh, it's mixed, but you don't get to see that. It's a little bit of a preview for 
the next game or whenever this happens, by the way. And um, yeah. We are into this game. We are excited. I uh, In the first seven minutes, we had 28% possession. Please save me. Mackie on the ball. Is he going to hoof it forward? He does to Stevanovic. Does not pick it up, unfortunately. Topic, Pavlovic. Move this away. I uh, Somehow, I always keep the mouse in the wrong places. It's very annoying. It's annoying me. Let's keep it here. No one can see it. Balas, good into play. I mean, <laughs> this is what kind of happens. Balas, ball over the top to De Gea. Okay there. That was a decision that uh, I think he will ex try to explain to me. But okay, they have the ball. Pogba playing it out to Ikone. These guys are actually incredible. Like, if the next generation of players comes through, I can actually start selling players Ikone. Good stop at Povich. Nothing threatening. But I, I don't know. What's your opinion? Like, should I actively try and sell these guys? Like, uh, like Pavlovich, like Vito, like Stanich, and should I try to refresh the squad? Or should I just keep them? Because, I don't know, dude. I... I don't know, I think for, for, I mean, definitely, okay, maybe those guys are a really bad example, but for example, players like Markovic, I probably need to let go, Maki, I probably need to let go, um, I'm moving this way because my camera's in the way, my microphone's in the way, uh, Jurosovic probably is gonna leave, he doesn't like being here because I, he wants a new challenge, man, you're playing the Champions League, what else do you want? I mean, to be fair, maybe that's what he wants, Topic, Illich, you know, all these kind of players, all the players on loan, maybe it's time for them to be let go, yeah, will hurt us, just like Anthony Martial hurt us as well. To be expected. Honestly, to be expected. So, you know, what can you say? United is just amazing. We're playing at Old Trafford and um, they're a very good side here as opposed to in the real world. Good run in. Our center backs are not good enough. That's the problem we have. There's no good center back pairing right now. So that's the problem. I'm trying to sign... Like, I've actually tried to sign... Um, I forgot his name, but the guy from uh, Monaco, he's actually quite good. And he said he would be kind of interested in us, but he'd be way too much for the club. Uh, Balas clears it. We're not going to pick it up, unfortunately. We need to, we, okay, we need to change some tactics. I was going to try and do a 5-3-2. 5-3-2s with not attacking fullbacks is dumb because we will then replace our amazing wingers with kind of crappy attacking fullbacks and... We will not create anything. We'll just be hoping to not concede. That's probably the best thing we can do from there. De Jong. We have not created any chances. That's unfortunate. Greenwood. De Jong. Looks like Stanich is, um, you know, goal scoring feat will stop. Ball in. Pavlovic blocks it. Clears it. Um, <laughs> Markovic scored a known goal, apparently. And uh, he's appealing for an offside, which uh, will probably save him. Yes, let's go. Okay, it saves him. We need to change something. We absolutely need to change something. I think there is no point. There's no point anymore. We are going to try and play a little bit better. We're going to move everyone up. Illich is going to be their box-to-box -box player. Yeah, let's go. We might as well. We might as well give it a shot. Why not? We're Somehow we're still, taking, we're still playing positive, but we're not creating any chances, and that's something I really don't like. What was the offside here? Oh, yeah, Martial was offside by far. But... Why was it Martial's offside if he didn't even touch it? Anyways, don't don't ask. Don't ask. Right. We need to do better. Bruno Fernandes puts a cross in. Lindelof gets to it. And I hate those kind of <laughs> highlights because you can't see anything. It's a weird angle, man. We are showing absolutely nothing. We're showing absolutely nothing. That's a bit of an unfortunate situation right now. Uh, maybe Stanich is not the best role here. Uh, we have been absolutely poor. We, we're not even trying. That's the problem. We're not even trying. Right. Maybe we should do something with Stanich. I no, he's playing. Let's. He's not ready to play complete forward in a big match, right? Oh, let's see in the second half. So we did a small change. We changed to play more. I mean, I might as well show it to you. We changed to play a little bit shorter at high tempo. We got rid of run of defense. We got rid of uh, be more creative, just so we can kind of give the players more of a, in a weird sense, more of a freedom. Like if they want to play fast, they can play fast. But also. I don't think the dribbling past the strong back four of United works. That's the problem. So we just got to do something. We're going to try and play short. We need to try to help possession. Stanich is completely isolated. I, I think we might as well just sub him off at this rate. De Jong, Pogba. De Jong plays to Van de Beek. We are, as you can see, we're not yet at the level. I mean, it's our first season. Balas, beautiful tackle right into the path of whoever that was, Greenwood. And he couldn't finish, which is good for us. Once again, oh my god, okay, I think after this, uh, Ole Gunnar just told them, look guys, this is Partizan, we need to destroy them. Yeah, Ikone lines up a shot, Martial 
Popovich is not good enough. Okay, we might... We are... I'm not happy with this. I'm actually not happy. This was... Let's put Baha back on. Let's put Baha back on. Baha back will be our advance forward. We're going to try and ping balls at him. That's it. Throw everything out the window. Just long shots. Make people run. That sort of stuff. Run behind the lines. Hopefully that'll work. Did I change Stanich to a target man? I did. Uh, am I missing something? Stevanovic is having a really bad game. Let's put Vlahovic on. Why not? Vlahovic is a good guy. And might as well put Stoisavelic. Completely change the front, front three. Front three? Front three. Yeah, pretty much. Just change the squad. I want to do a little bit more Telus. They have another free kick. Or corner. Ooh, pings the ball across. Still no one picks up. Doesn't matter how many people have a front or in the midfield. They still don't pick it up. Okay, there's a little bit of lag there. Ikone places it, and that's a really good finish. As you can see, Popovic is not at the level of us. Wow. Mm. So this is what should have happened last time. <laughs> last time we should have been completely destroyed. I am slightly pissed that there's no one there. There's no one in the midfield zone picking the balls up, which is unfortunate. Beautiful finish. Popovic really should have saved that. That was a long ball across across the floor. What was he doing, guys? Come on. We need to do something. At least one goal. At least one shot. At least something. At least one highlight for the fans. Stanich puts a cross in. Van de Beek clears it. Illich collects. Good. So maybe we shouldn't get rid of Illich. Maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. Bahabek. Not really running behind the lines. He does play Stoice of behind the lines. Stoice. Markovic puts a cross in to De Gea. De Gea fumbles it, but to Ikone. And Ikone is going to run away. There's so much pace on him. He's just going to go. He's going. He's going, guys. No, not like this. Okay, at least Popovic had another shot. That's good. That is good. He's, he's I mean, he saved four shots out of, ooh, five. Look at that. Illich, cross. Stanich. Stoice of offside as well. Guys. <laughs> at least one please <laughs> at least one the fans are watching look the people they're watching <sighs> i mean you know the party's over we had so much fun along the way we kind of after the first few games well yeah after the first few games we weren't meant to be this far but we managed to claw it back we got one of the hardest teams in manchester united and what can you do just you can't you just can't do anything you can't unfortunately right I mean, we've done all our subs. Let's encourage the boys. We just... One more, guys. Just one more. Maybe you can do something. Maybe you can do something pretty. Please. We got the possession back. It's 53-47, which is good. At least we have that to look forward to. Manchester fans will go back happy. We did not create. They've completely shut us down. Fair enough. Just fair enough. I'm sorry I couldn't do it. Stanish had an awful game. Again, I think when you're a player of that slow... Yeah, what can you say? Well, unfortunately, we are out. I can't say anything else about it. Hopefully next year, our appearances in the Champions Cup will be a little bit better. You know, we're growing, we're getting better. Look at that, we're getting money. We can improve in facilities and all that stuff. Right, we are done. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you tuning in for this episode. As you know, next game will be the Red Star, unless again, something magical happens, which will be very, very frustrating. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. I'm sorry we lost today and I'll see you guys in the next episodes. Bye, guys.